In this presentation, we'll talk about using the Wolfram Alpha or Mathematica to plot mathematical functions. Our first example of a function will be the logistic function or one version of the logistic function, which is an S-shaped curve shown here. It will have three parameters. The first parameter, x0, will determine sort of where the middle of the S occurs on the horizontal axis. The parameter L will show how high the S goes, and K will determine sort of how quickly it goes from 0 to L. This version of the logistic function has a simple numerator, just L, and then the denominator is 1 plus an exponential function, and then the exponential function depends on the parameters k, x, 0, and our variable x. Go to the Wolfram Cloud and start up a new notebook. So here is the Wolfram Cloud, or Mathematica code, for defining a function. So we make up a name. I chose the name Logist. Then we have square brackets. Then we have four arguments, L underscore, K underscore, X zero underscore, X underscore. These are the arguments of our function. They have underscores, also known as blanks, on the left-hand side, but those blanks will not appear on the right-hand side. Now we know that one of these arguments, x, is going to be a variable and the other three are going to be parameters, but when defining the function, we do not make that distinction. So it's the name of the function, logist, square bracket, our arguments with blanks, close that uh, square bracket, then a colon equal. So Mathematica makes a distinction between equal, colon equal, and equal equal. And when defining the function, we want the colon equal. And then on the right hand side, we define our function. So it is the parameter L or argument L divided by a large set of parentheses, one plus the exponential function in, X, in Mathematica or Wolfram Cloud. The exponential function is a capital E, small x, small p, a square bracket. So in Mathematica, the sort of defined pre-existing pre functions tend to be start with a capital letter and functions use square brackets. So capital EXP square bracket. The arguments of the exponential are minus K times parentheses X minus X zero. So again, we have L divided by open parenthesis one plus capital EXP square bracket minus K open parenthesis, x minus x zero, close parenthesis, close the square bracket of the exponential function, then another parenthesis to, for the whole denominator. I hit shift enter to enter the function. It was called in three because I'd made mis some mistakes and it remembered that and so I have no in one or in two showing, but I have this in three, but I have no out three, and that's what happens when I define a function. There is no explicit output associated with that input. But just to make sure that it's in there and understood, then in in four, I'm going to use my function and just some quick meta parameters, one, two, three, four, and then I hit shift enter and I get a, an answer. And Mathematica likes to use sort of precise mathematical things to keep mathematicians happy. So in, so E is some number known by the computer, but rather than uh, numerically evaluated, it will just keep it as E. And we could ask Mathematica, uh, Wolfram Cloud, to evaluate it, to get us a numerical value if we want it. But this is good enough for us now. Here we are showing a plot of that function we defined. So we are using Mathematica's plot method. Notice the capital P and the square brackets typical of methods defined in Mathematica, starting with capital letters and using square brackets. Then we uh, give the name of the function that we want to plot. It's the function that we previously defined, the logist function. And the logist function that we defined had four arguments. Three of them were parameters and we've 
we are giving the uh, parameters sort of explicit values, just sort of made up 2.5, 1.25, 3.4. And then the last argument in this case was the variable x. That is the variable that we want to plot the function over. So then we have logist square bracket, our three numerical arguments, our last uh, variable argument, close the square bracket, a comma, and then a set of curly braces or brackets. And then in there, once again, the rename again, the, the variable that we are plotting here, x, and then uh, a starting point, minus 2.1, and an ending point, 6.7, close the uh, curly bracket, and then the, the closing square bracket that belongs to the plot method. And so we plot our function from minus 2.1 up to 6.7. You see it there. The 2.5 was what it goes up, what the logistic function goes up to. The 3.4 is the sort of middle of the curvy part. And the 1.25 had something to do with the, the speed with which it went from the lower to the upper. We can save this plot as an image and maybe move it over to a Word document, say. So let's click in the cell or the subcell that has the actual plot, and then a little gear icon will appear. We can click on that, and then we can uh, use the menu to copy as an image and then paste wherever we want, say, in Word. Now an exercise for you. Make a notebook that defines a function that corresponds to a projectile. It should have three parameters, y0, v0, and g, and one variable, t. And the function is y0 plus v0 times t plus g times t squared divided by 2. Then plot that function with the parameters y0 equals 0, v0 equals 15, and g equals minus 9.8, and plot that function from t equals 0 to t equals 3.5. That should be a parabola that sort of go arcs up and then arcs back down. And you want to make a copy of that plot and paste it into a Word document.